Peg a knowledge base, knowledge matters. Question, what are subreports and explain? Answer, basically, subreports are called in another report to get the desired results. This is used to get the desired output for complex calculations. Question, how to call a report definition from an activity rule? Answer, we can call the report definition rule by using px retrieve report data with parameters, report name, report class. The result will be stored in PY report content page. Interview questions on data transform. Question, what is data transform rule and explain? Data transform rule is used to manipulate the data. Answer, 1. Copy the data from source to destination property. 2. Dot, copy data from one page to another page. 3. Dot, adding pages to a page list property. For looping over the pages. 5. Sorting pages in the page list property. 6. Call another data transform rule. Question, how to call an activity from data transform rule? Answer, we can call an activity by using px call activity function. Question, how to call a decision table and decision tree from data transform rule? Answer, px evaluate decision table and px evaluate decision tree functions are used to invoke decision table and decision tree respectively. Question, difference between append and append map to. Answer, append is used to add an empty page to the page list property. Append and mapto method is used to add data to a page and then add the page to the page list. Question, significance of call super class data transform checkbox. Answer, this is used to call parent class data transform. First parent call data transform will be executed and then current class data transform rule will be executed. Question, how to call data transform rule from an activity rule. Answer, apply data transform is the method used to call the data transform rule from the activity. Question, can we call child data transform from parent data transform rule? Answer, yes, apply data transform is used to call. Question, why data transform rule is preferred over activity, property set method? Explain? Answer, as activity rules are technical in nature and tough to maintain. So, data transform rules are preferred over the activity rules for manipulation of the data. Question, how many types of declarative rules are there in PEGA? Answer, below are the declarative rules in PEGA. 1. Declare expression. 2. Declare on change. 3. Declare trigger. 4. Declare index. 5. Declare constraints. 6. Declare pages. Question. What is difference between forward chaining and backward chaining? Answer. In terms of declare expression, if declare expression executed whenever input values changes this technique is called forward chaining. If declare expression is evaluated when target property is referenced, then this is called as backward chaining. Question. What is declarative processing in PEGA? Answer. Declare processing means whenever an event occurs, then PEGA process certain rules in the background. This is called declare processing in PEGA. Question, what is declare on change and explain how to works? Answer, declare on change is created on a property rule. Whenever the corresponding value of the property changes, PEGA triggers an activity rule which is configured. Explain in brief about PEGA. Answer, PEGA is a platform that allows the user to develop apps, perform integration with the external system and easily implement mobility. It also helps in managing the case life cycle, extensive user interface design, managing the decisions and implementing the DevOps and robotic process automation, and reporting. It is built on Java and has its latest version as 8.2, which also stands for Build for Change. Want to become a master in PEGA? Then visit here to learn PEGA training. What are the different types of classes that PRPC support? Answer, the different types of standard classes available are Base class, it is the ultimate base class, and its child classes are work dash, data dash, rule dash, assigned dash, history dash, etc. PEGA always supports two types of classes, which are abstract classes and concrete classes.
Abstract classes, these classes end with and abstract classes, cannot create any work object instances. Concrete classes, it does not end with dash, and abstract classes will create work object instances. Question, what is the difference between page and page list property, how are they implemented? Answer, page property refers to a particular class and is used to access the property of that class. Page list property also refers to a particular class, but it's a collection of individual pages of the same class which can be accessed through numeric indexes. Question, explain about work object. Answer, a work object is the primary unit of work completion in an application and the primary collection of data that a flow operates on. When an application is used, work objects are created, updated, and eventually closed, resolved. Every work object has a unique ID, property PYID, an urgency value, and a status, property PY status work. Question, how to create a work object in Pega? Answer, the following are the steps implemented in creating a work object in Pega. 1. Add a button such as a section or a header. 2. Expand the cell property within the button and click on the action tab. 3. To the button, add an action set. For add focus class as well as flow name to the button. 5. Catch the present work object ID with perm.prevrecord key. 6. Using objopen by handle, open the case. 7. Using page copy, copy the data from pagers. Explain about DCO? Direct Capture Object is an Apple Dev tool that includes 1. Application Profiler Wizard 2. APPL Accelerator 3. APPL Doc Wizard 4. APPL Use Cases 5. APPL Requirements Question, what is SLA? Where do we use SLA? Answer, it is the instance of rule object service level rule type. It can be added to assignment and work objects. Service level contains two intervals of time as goal and deadline. It indicates the expected time for the assignment and time to resolve the work object. If an assignment isn't completed before the time limit, the system can automatically raise the assignment and cancel the entire flow, and so on. Question. What are the different types of layouts available? Answer. The following are the different layouts types available. Column layout. Grid layout. Portal layout. Dynamic layout. Question. What is the rule set in PEGA? Answer. A rule set in PEGA is a collection of rules of business that defines an instance. The rule set is an essential subset of PEGA rules that is necessary to reference instances in the database. Question, can we use RDB save along with commit, if yes then why? If not, yes then why? Answer, yes, commit is used to save the data permanent in the DB. What is access group and access roles, and difference between them? One access groups make a set of rule set versions available to requesters. Two use an access role name to convey permissions, capabilities, to a user, or a group of users. Access roles can be referenced. 3. In requester instances, operator ID instances, in access group instances, in activities, and in queries. What is covers folder and object and differences among them? One cover is work object that is parent to one or more related work objects. 2. One work party is present in the cover work object and also present in the covered work objects associated with the covers. 3 folder is work object in concrete class that inherits from the work folder class. For a folder object holds a collection of one or more other work objects providing access for reporting. Describe the access group in PEGA and its functionality. An access group in PEGA is an example of a data admin operator access group class that creates a set of rule set for the requesters. The developer defines access groups and assigns them to different users. Access group controls the security based on the job functions. It is the instance of data admin operator access group. Various aspects that can be controlled through an access group are 1. Default and available types of works, also called as work pools. 2. Primary rule sets, access control to rule sets, assigned roles. Portal layout. 3. Default rule set for making changes, 
default rule set whenever the user creates slash saves as the rule. Name different types of requesters. One browser requester starts with letter H. Two application requester starts with the letter A. Three batch requester starts with letter B. Four portal requester starts with the letter P. How a user's rule set list is formed. The system adds entries it finds from the following sources in the order listed. The system adds entries it finds from these sources in the top of the list. Requester, data admin requester class, usually this adds the rule sets named PEGA rules and PEGA and SVCs and a version or version prefix for these. Division as referenced in the operator ID instance. Organization as referenced in the operator ID instance. Access group, as referenced in the operator ID instance. Rule set versions, prerequisite rule sets and versions to those already compiled. Operator ID, if this user has the ability to check out rules, the personal rule set, named the same as the operator ID key, is added last. It is also called a private rule set. Question, what is flow action? Answer, it is the instance of the rule obj flow action rule type. It is the one category in UI specifying the choices to the user performing assigned work objects. Local FA, if action is finished, the work object returns to the same level. Connector FA, if action is finished, the work object moves to the next level. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and comment.